Uh, so today I would like to uh, start start with um, uh, post stamps, one of the post stamps we sell. Um, in in a uh, BRST uh, formalism. So that the construction can be generalized to, to, to the, the setting of the double residues, um, so vertex residues. So um, <coughs> there's a no notion of, um, uh, in linear algebra, uh, there's a notion of a companion. Matrices. Uh, it's a matrix of, of, the, of this form. So, um, so one in, in this uh, one here and uh, something on the top row and uh, zero everywhere. So a, a one two a is a some some element in C. Um, so this is called the uh, companion matrix because uh, it's a characteristic polynomial. It, it is it is the following form. So if you compute this, you, you immediately see uh, this something like that. So I, I don't mind about sign. So this, this matrix is, is, is companion to do this polynomial. Uh, and uh, <coughs> so I, I denote by S the set of uh, uh, companion matrices. And I consider this as um, affine subspace of G F N, which I denote by uh, G. So this is uh, the algebra, and uh, I denote by uh, the large D the corresponding uh, group. And of course, uh, uh, G acts on, uh, sometimes I uh, identify with, uh, with G star by, 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 by the uh, usual uh, invariant form. So here, uh, uh, the G acts by Azure. So, I can consider the corresponding uh, ring of invariants. And then uh, this, this description uh, shows you the, the restriction map. To, to the function on this uh, affine space is a is isomorphism. Isomorphism of ring. So I make this as an exercise. So in particular, so S in particular contains an element uh, whose 
uh, or over this form. Uh, th this is uh, obviously an important element and, and, and usually called the principal uh, important element. And so, so if S, S can be uh, as, a, uh, as written as F plus R, where uh, uh, it is an uh, is, uh, uh, element uh, of this. And this, this sits inside. Um, F plus uh, B, where B is a uh, upper, uh, can you see here? Uh, upper border subways. Upper, a uh, standard upper border subways. And uh, uh, so, and B, B contains a uh, uh, middle radical, which I do not buy again. <coughs> then uh, the corresponding uh, group N will be the unipotent subalgebra uh, of this form. And uh, you, 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 you find that the, uh, this upper, this group uh, preserves the space N, uh, space F plus B, and uh, the adjoint action. And uh, it's a exercise. It's a good exercise in, in linear algebra to see that the uh, adjoint action map gives a uh, bijection between uh, the set n times s to to uh, f plus b. So this is a bad bijection. Now the uh, both hands, uh, left hand side and right hand side, has a natural structure of uh, a fine, smooth affine varieties, and uh, so th this is a, a morphism of smooth affine varieties. I would it's a bijection. So 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 this means by. Um, of one form of the risky uh, main theorem. And it means that the, uh, the corollary of the exercise is that the, this uh, morphism is isomorphism.
So, so in particular, uh, so the corollary, uh, so, 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 so in particular, uh, so <coughs> the function on this affine space is a tensor product of, 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 um, of these two spaces, and that uh, Invariant part with respect to uh, n is, is, is isomorphic to s, which, which I, uh, I uh, isomorphic to the function of uh, invariant function on g. So the so invariant function on g can be realized as, as uh, an invariant function of, of this uh, series. There's another important uh, uh, property uh, of the uh, slice is so for this affine space is inside G uh, uh, intersects um, G or B. Uh, intersect transversely uh, at, at F to, 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 to the uh, GA. So it's a um, transversal slice to, to, to GO bit at F. <coughs> so, so this, this so this this is uh, so you, you you have to sh so this is uh, to say uh, the tangent space of G is is a, a, a sum of tangent space of S of F plus uh, so 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 we want to show 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 this but this is equivalent to the uh, G equals to S plus. G but but this is um, easy to see from the definition because um, this is this was the this was a set of company matrices and so this this part was it. So this is close to it. F moves everything here, so F can be written in this form. There's one, one more important property of the this slice. The tangent space of S is A, it's A, not S. Yeah, oh, right, right, of course. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you. Um, so, <coughs> There's another important property that and the slice S has. Um, so it, it's a, it assists the action. So we have a um, so so if if is is element 
of this form. So you can uh, form a uh, SL2 triple uh, by Jacobson modes of folding. So in particular, in this case, uh, uh, H and E can be uh, chosen as follows. So something like, am I right? And if it's uh, e is something like uh, 1 n minus 1, 2 n minus 2, something like this. So, so this form is uh, I said to triple. And uh, because H uh, is a is a semi-simple element, we can uh, uh, we have a corresponding uh, one parameter subgroup. Uh, a one parameter <coughs> uh, corresponding to H. So, uh, so this this action. What is the letter that you are using? Sorry, T goes to. Uh, I'm just writing uh, the image as gamma T. Ah, gamma. So this this action uh, does not preserve uh, the the studies. Okay. Uh, so the so I a joint action of H has an eigenvalue uh, 0 here, and uh, uh, here minus 2, and here 2, and so on. So in particular, uh, the eigenvalue of, of, of um, F is minus 2. So, so this does not preserve the uh, S, but if you, if you uh, multiply by T to 2, so this preserves the uh, the, the space. <coughs> so add down T. So this 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 defines a um, sister action on on S, uh, which uh, is distinct to 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 a contraction. Which contract to, to do the point if. <coughs> so, <coughs> yeah. And because um, It defined a system. Also, it also defined a action on, on this whole space F plus T, <coughs> and it also uh, uh, so that by contracting F, you mean what? Means that the <coughs> if you take a limit T equals to zero, you get F. Ah, t goes to z. So row t to uh, x goes to a And the corollary of this fact is that the uh, so f plus b uh, intersects 
uh, uh, Rg orbit uh, transversally at any point of orbit. Because transversality is open condition and uh, so you can uh, move everything near the, the, the point here. By, by the sea star action. And this is important to to do the following argument. So I define an element chi in the dual of n by a chi y to be the value of, uh, of the, this, this inner product. But also s, or only also s in the sense of here. So also s. Also s, yes, because uh, so s is contained in s. Uh, s is contained here, so of course it's in the uh, yeah. F and is ah so so yeah I I I I I well. <laughs> yeah in the, in the in my argument it is it, it, it is the interface uh, plus plus but this but, is strong uh, but but it all, but also 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 you can show that also uh, uh, f plus p uh, intersects g o b in transpose. Um, so, so if you define the element uh, in the verb uh, n uh, like this way, uh, you find that uh, this this is a character of of the uh, d algebra n, uh, which which means that the uh, uh, it vanishes on the uh, bracket. Now, uh, let us consider the uh, restriction map from, from a dual of G, which I identify with uh, a G. To, to the dual of N. <coughs> so this is uh, just a restriction map. And this is obviously uh, equivalent with respect to the action of the group N. And uh, uh, the chi is an element here, and so it, it, it's a one point orbit of N. It defines a one, one point orbit of, of n because I, I is a character of n. So 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 the group acts on on the uh, free image of chi. <coughs> now you find. So by definition, uh, a pre-image of uh, chi is just chi plus um, orthogonal component of n. And under the uh, identification g with uh, g, uh, g star with g, this is the same as f plus uh, b, and which was a uh, product of n. 
times this. And uh, so if you so this is this this restriction map actually is um, a moment map. For, for, for n action. So, and uh, because uh, n acts uh, freely on the level set of pi, uh, its quotient by n action as a structure of uh, a reduced Poisson variety uh, because uh, uh, the chi, you can show that the chi is a regular value. Of uh, mu by, by the transversality. F plus B plus F plus B. So I don't really want to talk about the uh, general theory of Hamiltonian reduction. So I just let, let that means that this has a, a structure of reduced Poisson variety. So this is obviously isomorphic to this. And uh, so, so S has a, a, a Poisson. A, Poisson structure. And I want to now describe the Poisson structure of the subfine space. So, so in general, uh, in, 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 after uh, Hamiltonian reduction, uh, the, it's difficult to Poisson structure of the uh, reduced Poisson uh, manifold is quite complicated <laughs> and uh, it, it's, bit, it, it, it's good if we can uh, describe it uh, uh, explicitly. So, so I want to show how to describe the Poisson of this uh, slice uh, identified with this quotient space. And uh, to, to, to do this, uh, it, it, uh, the formalism of BRST uh, realization is efficient. Uh, it describes algebraic, algebraically the Poisson structure, and uh, it, it also gives a way to generalize, generalize to, 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 to the vertex algebra structure. So, so I expand the BRST realization uh, of this uh, Hamiltonian reduction. So, so in order to do it, I need to introduce some notation. Uh, so. So let's see if this Clifford uh, algebra associated with um, n plus n star. Uh, if we in this case, the Poisson structure is free. Yes. You, <laughs> I, uh, I wanted that you did you not say say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at, at the end, you find that the Poisson structure is trivial, but, but the construction itself is linear. So you can also describe non trivial Poisson <laughs> So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> there is a very easy way to describe it. <laughs> anyway, so the Poisson structure in, in this setting is trivial, but in the affine setting, it becomes a non trivial Poisson structure. So, so 
so, so that it's useful to, to, to do. Anyway, so, so let's see a bit, bit, the grip for the algebra associated with uh, n plus n star uh, equipped with a uh, natural um, symmetric bilinear form. So, 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 so if the so, so form A e is this following, so if f y plus g <coughs> So, 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 so this Clifford algebra as a vector space is a is isomorphic to tensor product of n star, a Grassmann algebra of n star, and a Grassmann algebra of n as a vector space. And of course, the natural embedding. Is a is a is a algebra, a super algebra. So I I, I use what what algebra for super algebra, uh, uh, algebra uh, and uh, maybe I use better better with super algebra, super algebra, super algebra is a is a, is is is, a, is embedding R, ah. <coughs> R ah, embedding so. Of super where uh, the generator here is considered to be to be whatever. <coughs> um, it has a. It has a um, natural filtration uh, as Fenja told in the case of Pendleton algebra. So let's define the filtration of the Clifford algebra by, 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 by in this way. So, so it defines the degree of the element from, from N. And uh, this defines an E. I should hope so. Yeah. <coughs> so this, this, this defines a solar light speed. I forgot to say uh, one thing. Uh, So before before uh, before talking about filtration, they, they, so this is also part of uh, the vertex. Anyway, so uh, so because uh, uh, a joint action of n itself and its dual, uh, it uh, gives uh, a real algebra from morphism from n to C n. Um, so this this is a super algebra. So this is not a real super algebra. So it, it makes the sense to talk about um, homomorphism the algebra, the super algebra. This is uh, the purely even uh, super algebra, the super. So this is uh, just a real algebra. And explicitly, it's, it's given by the foreign form. So so if you, I choose a basis of, of n. Uh, you, you define a dual basis. So it's not the natural uh, inclusion map. No, no. Sorry? It's not the inclusion map. 
Anyway, so 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 by defining this, we get um, an increasing sequence of um, subspace. And you find that it, it, this is respect to the a product, and also um, a commutator a drops index by one. So we are in the setting of user uh, uh, filter algebra. So, so it's associated graded space. Uh, it is a uh, uh, graded uh, Poisson super. So we are, we are dealing with a subalgebra. So it's a Poisson subalgebra. And I did not buy this machine. But, and this is called, uh, sometimes called, this is the classical uh, Clifford algebra. Now, way to think of this as a function on the cotangent space uh, of uh, n, uh, where n is considered as, as a purely whole space. Well, this, this doesn't mean anything. This is how to think, think of them. And also, uh, so this row uh, uh, gives a map from n, so induces a map which I denote by row bar, uh, uh, which is the uh, uh, algebra again, because this is a Poisson algebra, so it has a real. So, so, we, so as Fraser told, the function on this is naturally a Poisson algebra by, by a usual kilo constant Poisson bracket. And the tensoring with uh, classical Clifford algebra is naturally a, a Poisson a subalgebra.
Well, so, so of course, this is considered as a, as an even space, and uh, so so this this two commutes, and uh, so this this tensor product is a naturally Poisson superalgebra, and uh, I set this to be C bar G. And this has a natural, maybe not a natural, but this has a grading of this form. Where uh, C bar N G is a C G star tensor, tensor with um, Uh, this space. Uh, so, so it's not related to the previous situation. No, this is not related to the previous. It's a different, different uh, grade. This is called grading, not filtration. So, so this was the tensor product of uh, two two Brasma algebra. And I give elements of uh, uh, so and star degree one. So this is C P. Oh. Thank you. Uh, so so the, I give elements of the elements the generator uh, uh, degree one and the, uh, the generator of here gives a degree minus one. So this gives a grading of the uh, classical uh, preferred algebra, which, which respects uh, Poisson bracket. And this means that Poisson bracket uh, with, with CP, with CQ, belongs to CP plus. So we we are defining two different gradients in CL bar. Yes, yeah, so this is a grading, and uh, this is a filtration. No, uh, so this so is a, okay. this is a filtration, and I already already took the associated gradient. So it's a grade a gradation of CL bar, and this is a different. Yes, yeah, so this is a different. Yeah, yeah. This is of course uh, as you said graded uh, algebra, but I, I took a different, different uh, grade. grade. So this is a uh, uh, so G plus grading, and this is uh, actually a, a G G grade. So we have a negative and you. <laughs> and uh, so we have a map from from oh, again uh, uh, D algebra, a homomorphism. Which extend rho bar here, uh, which send x to x tensor one plus one tensor uh, rho bar x, and because um, chi was a character of of n, I can uh, uh, shift by this. The algebra homomorphism by chi. So this also defines uh, the algebra homomorphism. And I do not buy this theta. And uh, so then uh, uh, it is that there is a, a unique element in Q in C bar 1G as such is that um, Poisson bracket with element of um, X in so, so, so the, the, the condition is that this is uh, 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 maybe I 
tilt the bar here, uh, theta bar x for for all elements of uh, n, which I consider as a subset of Grassmann algebra, which is the sub algebra of uh, classical uh, Clifford algebra. <laughs> and and, uh, and there's another statement, so, so there's a unique element satisfied um, this condition, and this element satisfied. When you write x, you mean x tends to 1? Yeah. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, x tends to 1. In the parenthesis, in the Poisson bra. Yes, uh, thank you, so... One tensor x. Uh, because I'm writing the element of the of the right. right. So I, I thought x was in G. Ah. Uh, x is the element of the here. Right here. Ah. So one tensor, one tensor x. So this is so this is an uh, old element uh, here. It's, it's a generator of Grassmann algebra. <coughs> now this is automatically old. Uh, uh, I didn't really explain, but if you see the definition, the element in, in, in old old degree component is, is old. <coughs> Um, so, the, so the proof. So the uniqueness uh, follows from the following part. Um, so the if you consider the. Uh, the sub algebra of Clifford algebra, classical Clifford algebra, killed by the action of n. So, this is an element of Clifford algebra, uh, killed by element of n. Uh, this, this, this is uh, 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 just an element in n. So you have no, no elements from any star. Oh. And, uh, and also uh, the, the intersection of C1 G with, with um, C G star tensors with this element is zero. This is uh, easy to see by the definition of the gradient. So, so from this condition, the uniqueness I may be three So this is the proof of the And uh, so the fact that the, uh, the bracket of two, bracket of Q bar is, is zero and is different it's because the, a grading respect to Poisson uh, bracket, this belongs to C2. G. And if you consider the uh, bracket uh, if you It, okay, let, let, me, let me make this as an exercise to see this is a zero for any element of, of n. 
So I don't understand. Are you going to prove this uh, identity or not? So if, if I'm going to show uh, show that if Q if the if it's relevant to Q satisfies this condition, uh, uh, the the bracket of two has to be there. I haven't shown the existence yet. No, but the uniqueness did you? Think? Uniqueness follows from this condition. But you didn't prove it. Uh, so if there's a two element, you have to be killed by this element. The difference has to be killed by it, but there's no element, no such element. So, so this is crazy. <laughs> and uh, so this, this again implies. Uh, This is exercise. <coughs> it's not a unique, it's not difficult, but it's just a computation. <coughs> so, 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 because there's no, e also, if there's no intersection with C2D with the element, Killed by element of the adjacent of N, and also in C1G. Uh, so, element satisfy this condition uh, has to be there. And uh, so the existence is easy, you just have to uh, uh, is easy. you just have to uh, 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 define uh, one element. Uh, so you, you, you define so, so if you consider this kind of uh, element, Find by computation that this satisfies the desired condition. So anyway, we have um, element. So we have element in 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 in, in, in C to uh, D satisfying uh, whose anti commutes uh, uh, whose Poisson bracket is zero is it safe? I, it follows that I join with respect to this element uh, satisfy uh, square. I equals to zero. And, and because this is a degree one element, uh, so it follows the, the, the this pair uh, it, it, it is a, a differential uh, graded Poisson algebra. So there's a notion of differential graded algebra which, which can be a similar notion for the Poisson algebra. <coughs> and in particular, uh, the corresponding cohomology is a gradient uh, Poisson support.
the theorem uh, is that the uh, the cohomology uh, of this uh, differential grade Poisson superalgebra is zero uh, if i is not zero and isomorphic to the function on the slice a. And because this is a Poisson algebra, so this defines the Poisson structure of this. And this is uh, the uh, BRST reduction of the uh, Hamiltonian reduction. So I make a break here and I'll prove the after the break. Uh, so this is uh, uh, um, it's, it's constant and standard essentially I think the, the constant and standard. So they did not treat exactly this case but uh, the idea goes back to constant constant. In their work in the 80s. Yeah. So I forgot to say why we need this kind of uh, an exotic homology. Um, the microphone. Oh. <laughs> Is it gone? Yes. Uh, I forgot to say why, why we need this kind of, kind of uh, exotic cohomology to, to describe uh, the aristic cohomology, uh, to describe the reduction. And the, re the reason is the following. So, so, so the, the space we get, we get as a, a reduced um, Poisson manifold is a, is a sub portion of the original space. So you start with, with G star, and uh, so you, you, you get uh, this, this, this reduced space. So the function uh, here it is uh, from this, this description is the uh, invariant part of N, but this itself is a, so this is a subspace. What is M? Yeah, it should be ah, sorry, M. Uh, so this, this is a subspace of, of, of G star. So the function on it is just quotient space. So it, it can be written something like uh, <coughs> uh, So, so, so what we get as a result is a sub portion of the original space of function on G star. But if you use usual cohomology, you only get uh, a, 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 a invariant space. The, cohomo the usual cohomology is a derived from the invariant. And cohomology, uh, cohomology is a uh, it derived from the phantom invariant. Uh, so we also we, we do we need a, a co-invariant and an invariant and in two steps in the user dis description. So we need uh, both <coughs> cohomology and cohomology and we are the cohomology is, is exactly the mixture of the years of cohomology and cohomology. And uh, <coughs> this is why we need this kind of. Uh, uh, exotic cohomology, and in this proof you see that the RST cohomology is indeed a mixture of the RST cohomology and cohomology. So, so let me uh, prove uh, this statement. <coughs> so, so this this uh, operator is a degree one operator. And uh, so this has um, an obvious uh, bigrading. Um, this 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 is uh, decomposed de de <coughs> de <coughs> into the following. So C I J maybe I should put well. Um, maybe I just. 
UCIJ. So C, 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 I, J is just a, a tensor product of uh, the, the spaces. So, so I is, is, uh, is a, a positive number and J is a non-positive number. So the grading of two grading, grading here and grading here gives a, a bi-grading of this complex. And uh, if you uh, look at this explicit form of the uh, differential, you find that the, uh, this has, uh, I, actually this has only one, two components, D minus and D plus. And D minus sends send, uh, uh, Cij. So this increase increase uh, I, and it, uh, uh, D plus increase increases J. So this I. I direction and J direction, and uh, so the, the so this is I direction. This is uh, J direction, and uh, so because of this and uh, the fact that that's the square of uh, this is zero implies that the so if you start with this, it vanishes if and only all of this vanishes. So, so d square of d minus and d plus is zero, and d minus and d plus uh, anti communes each other. <coughs> so, so there is a, so this cohomology is actually a total complex of this uh, double. So in particular, uh, you can uh, consider corresponding spectral sequence. Uh, spectral sequence starting with D minus or D plus. So, so there's a spectral sequence uh, converges to, to, to this cohomology. Uh, Uh, such that the E1 term is a cohomology uh, with respect to the, the, the differential D minus. The E2 term is uh, the cohomology of uh, E1 term with respect to, to D plus. So let's try to calculate this. And uh, so, so if you look at this uh, carefully, you find the, so if it's a, a maybe so make it exercise. So d minus it is operator of the form form. Uh, so we just take uh, <coughs> so add means uh, Poisson bracket uh, yeah, with respect to so. and uh, D plus is this is one. Uh, 
and uh, <coughs> so uh, the the cohomology uh, with respect to uh, uh, d minus is actually a familiar one. So the cohomology uh, with respect to uh, d minus it is uh, it's just a uh, cohomology uh, so 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 this this <coughs> so this complex is it's just the usual procedure complex of the ring uh, CG star uh, with respect to uh, the sequence xi minus chi x a tensor with uh, a lambda n space. <coughs> so there's a notion of cosmological complex in, in commutative algebra. And uh, so, so, and uh, so, this sequence is obviously regular. Uh, so, so one get the, the, the cohomology uh, vanishes for 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 i equals to zero. And uh, here we get the coco invariant uh, with respect to the sequence. Uh, tensor with uh, uh, lambda in star. And uh, this, this, as I said <coughs> in the beginning, it, this uh, coincides with uh, a level set of, of chi. You mean C of N star or C of G star? C of, C of G star, yeah. No, in the quotient. In, in the quotient, uh, X moves on the... Uh, so X, X expands the basis of N. And then you take C uh, of... The, the, the idea is generated by this, this thing. Ideal of what? Ideal of CG star. So it's CG star. Yeah, it's a CG star. Okay. And, and the, uh, it's a term. Uh, so this... Next, we want to compute it's a term. So it's a cohomology with respect to D plus. Uh, and from this uh, expression, if you find that, that this is exactly the, the Chevrolet complex for calculating the algebra cohomology. Here we have action of n, and uh, we get the action of, of, of uh, the algebra by differentiate, and then that's the joint action. 
And because uh, this was free over N, uh, so, so the cohomology, uh, cohomology of E1 e time with respect to E, e plus e, e is a cohomology <coughs> of um, C, Cn tensor with Cs because uh, this was a tensor product of Cn with the Cs as, as n module. And because uh, the D algebra cohomology of this uh, coincides with the uh, algebra from cohomology uh, of n, and n is a fine space, and this is, is zero if i equals to zero, uh, if i is not to zero, and the trivial one dimension if, if <coughs> i equals to zero. So, um, So we conclude <laughs> so, so, so we conclude that the, the, the spectral sequence and collapse at e to e equals infinity um, we get uh, the desired uh, isometries. So, 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 so the realistic cohomology does, does uh, uh, so you need to, so in a usual um, uh, Hamiltonian reduction, you first take quotient and then take the variant. But if you use PRST cohomology, you can do it at once. And uh, if you consider appropriate the spectral sequence, you recover the original uh, the classical procedure. So that Q bar? Ah, yes, yes, thank you. I probably say I bar. Is that your phone on the bus? Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I want to explain now uh, uh, the, the fact that uh, uh, See? So, so actually, so we might obtain what we will obtain is trivial. So, so, so the, <coughs> the natural map. So there's a so the variance function. Uh, there's obvious from from the invariant function from uh, from the invariant polynomials to 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 a t zero of of of, of this cohomology because. Um, He commutes with, with every element of x. And this is obviously um, homomorphism of Poisson algebra, although this is um, trivial Poisson algebra. And this is statement, this is isomorphism. Now this is immediate from the previous proposition with the fact that uh, so, so this, this, is, this, this is necessary. A restriction map, map gives us a map. So the map, map, so the, this map coincides with this map. <coughs> so, 
so, so in conclusion, the Poisson structure, isomorphism of Poisson objects. So Poisson structure <coughs> here uh, is, is unfortunately uh, true. Right, so what, what, what is good about this uh, heuristic cohomology it, it, it is uh, it, it's factorial and also it, it's easy to quantize it. Um, factoriality, uh, I maybe don't have time to explain, but uh, maybe uh, explain about quantization. So uh, we consider the uh, uh, Poissons, we started with a super Poisson algebra, which I denoted by C by G, which is a tensor product uh, with fu function on G star with a classical preferred algebra. And the natural quantization is an uh, uh, enveloping algebra tensor with, with the uh, uh, Clifford algebra, not classical Clifford algebra. And I note by uh, CG with a bar. And we have a V algebra homomorphism from N to uh, CG uh, which, which sends a X to uh, just the same formula X tensor prime X a tensor 1 plus 1 tensor uh, theta X hmm? low X So we have the Ali and the Azure of the world. And the lemma, uh, maybe it's an exercise, is to show, ah, so there's a natural, uh, we have the natural uh, grading, which is identical identical to, to the, to the uh, previous grading. And the statement, so this, this, define, this respects the algebra stuff of CG. And the exercise that the existing unique elements in, in C1G uh, such that the this time uh, bracket with one tensor x is a theta x for point n. Okay. And we have A square of the same equals to zero. The proof is almost identical. And actually, uh, Q, 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 Q here is, is the same. The uh, same means uh, the same form as same <laughs> is Q bar, but we. Uh, uh, 
uh, we consider it as an element of, of C, 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 not C body. Uh, so maybe we have, so this is so explicitly this is, this has the, the same form. But but this time we consider this as an element. Uh, order is not important because uh, uh, this is an important algebra. Uh, this, uh, yeah, it's just, it's commute because of this existence. Uh, right. It's the same as, as the if J and J if C I J K is not non-zero, J cannot be K or I. Because M is a mid-potential. Yeah, yeah, anti-commute. We can also do, do the uh, same thing for, for non-nil-potential non algebra, but, but then you get the central expression of the uh, real algebra you start with. Anyway, so 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 because the square of this element equals to zero and q is zero, uh, you you find the square of I join is also zero. <laughs> so now now U G C G and Q uh, is is a differential grade algebra. And uh, <coughs> uh, cohomology. It's cohomology defined by uh, the quotient of kernel by, by the image of R Q. <coughs> it, 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 it is it is a grade. The super. Then uh, the theorem of Costan says uh, we have the uh, vanishing of cohomology. For for i it not equal to zero, and uh, there's a natural map from the center of the everything algebra, algebra 2 to 80 of uh, CG and Q, uh, which send G to G tensor 1, because uh, the center comes with the everything, so, so I join of Q, uh, Q, Q, I join Q uh, with G equals to Z. And the statement of this is an uh, of algebra. several ways to, to, to prove this uh, theorem. <coughs> so 
Well, one way to prove is the, the, to use uh, the previous theorem. So, so CG, uh, you, uh, CG is filtered. Uh, because uh, UG and uh, uh, CU are and uh, RQ uh, respects uh, filtration So, so we get the corresponding associate graded uh, 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 associate associated graded uh, differential graded Poisson algebra, and which is identified to, to the previous uh, component. So uh, you can consider a spectral sequence. So, so there exists a, a spectral sequence. Uh, such is that uh, uh, such is that the even term equals to the uh, cohomology. Uh, we consider the uh, previous. But we know that the the, the vanish of cohomology holds for E1. So 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 by the previous theorem uh, the, the spectral sequence spectral sequence collapse at uh, E1 equals to infinity and um, we get uh, an associate gradient of this cohomology is isomorphic to the fun uh, invariant function on this term. And uh, so so the so because this this homomorphism respects grading and uh, induces isomorphism between associated graded space, uh, this, this uh, map has to be an uh, isomorphism. So, so this is this is uh, this is uh, uh, zero for i equal. So then I sum of it to uh, by, by the previous theory. So the spectral shaking scrubs at the one equals infinity. So the infinity equals to this. So the uh, uh, associated grid of this size as a morphic to this. This means uh, this map induces isomorphism between associated grid space, so you have to be an So I'm using the fact that the uh, center is a quantization of uh, an invariant. So this is one way to prove, but, but we can, there's a different ways to prove. Uh, because um, uh, 
So, so this, this, this is, is a vibrating. Uh, as Shiba G. So this is decom decomposed into CIJ in, in the similar way. And uh, R Q uh, uh, B minus decomposed into two components as, 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 as before. So we, we can argue uh, in the same way as the classical situation. So 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 this is a so this is a, a to total complex of this uh, 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 double complex, <coughs> and uh, so we can consider the spectral sequence starting from from D. <coughs> so. <coughs> So 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 the exist uh, spectral sequence uh, such that the its term is uh, uh, the cohomology cohomology of cohomology uh, so 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 the cohomology of this double point. And if you compute uh, 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 in the same way as before, you find so this is this is the exercise. Uh, you find <coughs> that this is equal to the B uh, algebra cohomology of um, an induced module. Uh, induced from uh, one dimensional representation uh, defined by the character pi of n. So this so this is a, as a result this is space is a, is, is a, uh, the E1 E1 space in this case. So if you remember the, as a, 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 after, as a calculation of uh, E1, you get certain quotient space. And this time you get uh, quotient space, but it can be considered in this In this module is a quotient And then uh, we also get uh, the, uh, for each of them, is, again, uh, N cohomology uh, with respect to N. And with, uh, with respect to the natural left action of the same distance. And uh, by Frobenius viscosity, uh, this, this is isomorphic to the endomorphism ring of uh, this induced module uh, with respect to the opposite uh, product. And this realization, uh, of, so 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 this is this is <coughs> yeah. So in, in, uh, as a result, we get <coughs> as a result we get um, uh, the center, uh, which is identified the zero cohomology of um, this complex is uh, can be identified with the endomorphism ring of this uh, uh, induced module. And this is called the Whittaker model. One of the center of the enveloping module.
So I didn't really, really use anything in, in today's argument. So, so today's argument construction uh, works in in uh, in more general setting. Ah, so so this is a remark. Uh, so this construction works in more general setting of uh, Hamiltonian reduction. <coughs> so in particular, uh, for for slow doses. So if you have if you have an element of um, nilpotent element, if if is a is if is a, a nilpotent element, in uh, simple so I, I GL n is not simple but uh, so uh, so uh, simple the algebra. G um, so we can embed F into uh, uh, SL2 triple by uh, Jacobson Morozov theorem. And then uh, uh, slowly slides at if uh, is defined with a fine space. Uh, this is a centralizer of centralizer uh, of um, of E, and uh, so this this has the same property as the S slice S I, I used today. So this 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 is the transversal slice. To 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 G orbit, R G orbit, and also uh, contra admits a uh, uh, contracting a uh, sister action. And also, uh, it can be obtained by Hamiltonian reduction. So, so maybe I don't have time to to to, to explain. Uh, uh, explicitly, but but uh, there are certain unipotent subalgebra n, uh, uh, which realize this through this space slice as a, as a reduced Poisson manifold. So you can check uh, everything works for, for this general setting. And in particular, you get uh, the function on slow slice as a BRST, the, the rough BRST cohomology of the, as a complex uh, uh, similarly defined. Uh, well, but but the Clifford algebra has to be re replaced by, by the Clifford algebra associated with uh, uh, M plus M star. And uh, uh, so, yeah. 
And this time, uh, uh, Poisson structure is not, not trivial for what's in there. And in fact, it's trivial only if and only if it's a principal important element. And you can also uh, uh, quantize this construction. And uh, you, you get some certain associative algebra uh, called a finite dark algebra. And if you compute this uh, 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 by, by spectral circuits, I explained uh, previously, you get usual uh, this definition of the uh, finite double. So, so, so if you compute uh, the spectral sequence starting with D minus, you get uh, uh, this description, definition, or the realization of uh, uh, finite double algebra uh, as endomorphism in. Uh, of, of certain uh, induced motion. <coughs> yeah, I think I stopped here today, and uh, uh, next time I uh, generalize this construction to, 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 to the vertex algebra setting uh, using. If, if part of Poisson algebra has been introduced, I can explain some depth scale relation with some depth scale.